so it's now the end of April and I just thought I would film another wee update on how the grafts are coming on. So, that's the temperature and that's fallen because I had that inside so I've brought it out here and it's fallen 16.4 at the moment degrees Celsius. In the car it's reading about 12 so I would expect the shed maybe to be slightly warmer than it is outside. But it's probably four, five, six degrees Celsius by night and about between 10 and 14 degrees Celsius by day. We have had some unusually good weather though towards the end of April this year. Temperatures were high teens for a few days. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the some of the you know the progress on the trees so there's some of the old rootstocks that i'd bought i'd bought them february 2019 grafted onto them the graft didn't take and then i left the rootstocks to grow for the rest of 2019 and then i cut them down and grafted them just uh the 4th of april this year again so i had a sort of second go on them probably make, well, hopefully get a stronger root system and the grafts might take this time uh, anyway the buds do look as though they've got some uh, signs of life they're starting to green up a little but I did graft them later than the others anyway the apple trees are here and you can see you can see that the buds are just starting to green up on the scion. Now I don't think that necessarily means that the graft is taken. I think the scion can come into bud without having the sap flowing through from the rootstock to the to the scion piece. Because the scions that I had in the fridge stored, you know, after I cut them and stored them before I grafted them, if I cut them too late or if you leave them in the fridge too long, they will start, you know, unfurling. The buds will start unfurling like they have on these rootstocks, but it's been essentially. Just check the date. It's been essentially well. Check the apples first. It's been, you know, twenty eighth of March, right? Twenty eighth of March, and it's now thirtieth of April. So it's been four weeks, pretty much, and it's been you know it's been a month, uh, and. I think they're starting to form some callus around the graft union. So I'll go and have a wee look and I will show you some of the grafts. So this one, I'll just see if the camera will pick it up. I've peeled that back so you can see the rootstock's budding up here. You can see the buds on the rootstock and then you can also see the bud on the top. This is a pear and the pears, what I've noticed is the pears do unfurl more. You know, they're the leaves and the blossom comes on quicker than the apples does. Anyway, hold on a wee second. I'll unfurl this and let you see if the callus is formed. You can see in there, I don't know if the camera will pick up on that, but you can see that that it's just starting to callus in parts, you can see it's starting to take and it's not on that side, so on one side it's not, but that should be totally fine it has taken on the side you can just see the kind of whitey callus developing so that's that was just a a sort of splice, that was just not no even a tongue on that, just laid together and so long as there's some amount of uh, cambium to cambium contact, it will start to callus and it will continue to callus and bulk up and even there around the other side, that should, you know, eventually form a decent amount of callus uh, and end up quite sturdy. So, essentially, there's a few that look like that. I'll try and see if you can see it on this one. Here's one. It's a cleft graft now. Obviously, that side wasn't matched up with the cambium. Just got 
That side obviously wasn't matched up with the cambium. You can see it's much, it's much more inset on that side. That side was matched up with the cambium. You can see again, it's just starting to mesh together. On mainly the left side, the looks of things in here. They're in here. But it definitely looks positive. The roots are also starting to come, new roots are starting to come on the root stalks. One one point that's worth knowing is see these see these leaves leaf, leaf, leaf buds coming on the the root stalks here, here and here. And obviously further down as well, down here and down here. Initially what I did was cut them off last year. But I cut them off too early. And so I think what what would be better or what is better according to what I've read is leave them on for a period of time to allow the, the roots to really develop in the pot, and then cut them off eventually and let all the energy go into the you know the top side on the variety that you want. So I'll probably pot these up soon and put them outside. I don't think you don't want it to be you don't want it to be freezing cold and it would take much longer for the grafts to callus if it was really cold. But now that they have calloused or they're on their way, I would imagine it's alright to go because we're not going to get extremely low temperatures at this time of year. We've still got the odd occasional light frost. But other than that, I'm hoping they'll be okay. So that's all for the moment. Thank you.